I'm Peter. And I'm Paige. And we are co-founders of Takataka Plastics. We're transforming waste and empowering communities in Uganda. Uganda generates more than 600 tons of plastic waste every day. Most of this is littered anyhow, burnt in homes or burnt in dump sites. This leads to emission of greenhouse gases and carcinogens, blockage of drains leading to flooding and creating breeding grounds for malaria causing mosquitoes. In Uganda, more than 980 tons of CO2 is emitted every day due to open burning of plastic waste. There's also the issue of waste sinks, towns where plastic gets in but it cannot get out. For instance, Gulu, where we are now, if Gulu wants to recycle their plastics, it has to be transported six hours to the nearest recycling plant. And even the recyclers are now stuck because they can no longer export the flakes to China and India. PET bottles are piling up and overflowing out of the gates of recycling plants. The Ugandan government says that they're desperate for a solution to PET. And Takataka Plastics has a solution. We are locally transforming plastic waste into construction materials like tiles while creating job opportunities for at-risk youths. And our solution is innovative because we're local. We collect, process, and produce the products in the same community. So there's very little transportation and we create a full circular economy. We're also focusing on the PET because that's the real problem plastic waste as it cannot be recycled in Uganda and the international export market is now very limited. However, the chemical structure of PET makes it very difficult to process. But we have an engineering solution for that. The construction market in Uganda stands at more than 3 billion USD. So this is also increasing by more than 10% annually. So we believe we can tap into this market and have demand for all the plastic products that we produce. Um, on the other note, we are locally manufacturing the machines at a quarter the cost of importing them. So uh, manufacturing the machines locally makes us highly scalable. We just launched our pilot in Gulu to recycle nine tons of plastic per month and create 30 local jobs. Once we prove the Gulu operation is profitable, we can easily replicate it in other towns across Uganda. In Uganda, more than 60% of the youths are unemployed. So we create job opportunities for such youths uh, who live and work on the streets and uh, support and train them uh, in order to empower them beyond uh, the job. The World Bank estimates it costs an average $10,000 to create a sustainable job. We're doing it for a quarter of that. So our impact cuts across people, profits, and the planet. The 20,000 US dollars from the Stanford Global Energy Fields will finish our budget to build uh, bigger machines and launch a pilot in Gulu.